You know how sometimes things break? Today I'm going to show you how I used the Japanese art of kintsugi to repair these gems and crystals. You'll need some Gorilla Glue epoxy and some gold powder. I put links to both of these items on Amazon below. Pretty much you're just squeezing out equal parts of both sides onto a paper plate. Mix in a little bit of the gold powder and stir it up well. I love the idea of a kintsugi repair because the idea is that you're embracing the flaws and really through doing the repair work, making the item even more beautiful than it was to begin with. Make sure the tools you use with the epoxy are disposable. I'm using an old paintbrush and just a little wooden stir stick. Use a tiny paintbrush and paint on a small amount of your golden epoxy mixture onto the damaged crystal or stone. Line up the broken pieces in place with each other and press them against each other. Hold the pieces in place like this for a minute or two to let it set. After just a few minutes of holding it, you can set the piece down and you want to let it dry thoroughly before trying to do anything else with it. I found this to be a kid-friendly project, so my son ended up repairing his own crystal that was broken and one of his arrowheads as well. I would love to know, post in the comments below, what are you going to try this kintsugi art of repair on? Have we met yet? My name's Sarah and I'm the mom next door. I believe it really does take a village. I'm passionate about finding better ways to live life and sharing what I learn with all of you. I invite you to subscribe.